Do you want to change your Blink Outdoors black and white night vision from this to this with the new Blink floodlight connected to the Blink Outdoor so that you'll get a full color recording at night? Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check out the new Blink floodlight mount for the Blink Outdoor camera. Blink has several new products that came out. First, their video doorbell, which I did review in my last video. And if you haven't seen them yet, I will link it down below. They also have the solar panel charging mount, which we will talk about in my next video. So we'll check out the Blink floodlight mount's features, do the unboxing, set it up, and add it to the app, and connect my Blink outdoor camera. Then we'll check the video quality when it is in full color recording at night when the floodlights are on, and see if this is an accessory that you can add to your Blink outdoor. I also did sign up as a new Blink user and I purchased a separate sync module too, so that I want to experience how the Blink cameras work without subscription. But when I added my new Blink Outdoor, it automatically put me in a 30-day cloud trial. I'm also learning that there are features that are not available with local storage only, as you can see in this comparison table. But there's more to it and it warrants a separate video. I'll be canceling or wait out my cloud trial and will share my experience and see if local recording only is worth it even with limitations. And I'll be making a separate video on this pretty soon. So hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and click the notification bell so as to get notified when I drop that video. Also don't forget to give this video and my other videos a thumbs up and I appreciate it. Anyways, let's get back on the floodlight. So we have the Blink Outdoor Floodlight Mount. It is battery powered and has 700 lumens bright, motion triggered LED lights by Beams. I do have the older Mr. Beams and also the Ring Floodlight which is also made by Beams. Now this floodlight is designed to be only used with the Blink Outdoor, so the older XT and the XT2 are not compatible. And the floodlight is not going to work by itself, you need to connect the Blink Outdoor camera for it to work. It uses the camera's motion sensor to activate the lights and its settings are configurable on the camera settings in the app, which I'll show you later on. Now, the camera is not going to be powered by the floodlight. It still needs its own batteries for power. The floodlight uses 4 D-cell batteries and I had experience with this type of floodlights before and it should get you at least a year of battery life. I had my Mr. Beams and Ring floodlight go more than a year and a few months before needing their batteries replaced. And this floodlight is weather resistant with an IP65 rating. Let's open up the box. So we have the floodlight which has the batteries on it and has some weight to it. We have the micro USB cable that needs to connect to your Blink outdoor. And this is the mount that you are going to connect your Blink camera and we have two LED panels. Turn the back part to the left to open up the battery compartment and there is a separate battery cover that you need to unlatch to have access to the batteries. 4 D cell batteries. What else is inside the box? We have a quick start guide. We have the mounting plate that has this metal piece for a siding screwless install, which I'll show you later on. We have some plastic anchors and mounting screws if you want to screw it in. Time to set this up. Open up the Blink app, click the plus sign on the upper right corner, choose camera accessories. And now we have to connect our Blink outdoor and plug in the micro USB cable from the floodlight to the camera. We do need to remove the rubber cover from the back cover of the camera so that when we plug it in, it will have a good weather sealing. And while it is plugged in, the app will automatically recognize that your camera got connected to the floodlight. Click Done and connect the Blink Outdoor to the mount. And now you will see that there are light icons on the app to turn the floodlights on and off. There's a bit of a delay, but it works. Time to install this. So you have a couple of options in installing. There's the regular screw it in the mounting plate with the included screws. Or if you have a vinyl siding or hardy board like mine, you can install this also using the metal bracket. And this is the one that we are going to do. So with hook side, slide it in between the boards. On the back of the mounting plate are tabs that you can hook the square openings on the bracket. And slide in the floodlight to the mounting plate. And because the floodlight itself has some weight to it, its weight is going to push it down to the wall and it's hard to pull down. It does have a side-to-side -side play and if you want it more secured, you can add a mounting tape for more security. So you can adjust the light panels side-to-side -side or up or down. In the main app page, you will have the additional icons to turn on or off the floodlights and also when you click the live view. In the bottom, there is also the light on and off switches. 
and when you turn the lights on, it will automatically change the black and white night vision to full color. And when you get to the camera settings and scroll down, you will see the floodlight controls, where you will see the battery light turn on and off the light activation by motion. There is the auto shut off timer where you can adjust it to turn the lights off after 15 seconds and up to 300 seconds or 5 minutes. You can adjust the light brightness from 1 to 10 and 10 is the brightest 700 lumens bright. There is a daylight mode if you want the floodlight to also light up when motion is detected when there is still some light outside. If you toggle it to on, the daylight sensitivity option will show up and you can adjust it from 1 to 10. And 10 is when the lights will turn on even when there is still some ambient light. And it will warn you that it will use more battery life. So let's compare the video quality of the Blink Outdoor with the regular black and white recording with night vision to full color recording with a Blink floodlight setup. So this is the video quality of the Blink Outdoor camera and this with its infrared night vision turned on and it's in medium intensity so this is why it looks like at 10 feet 15 20 25 30 so this is the video quality of the blink outdoor connected to the floodlight and it has 50% set to 50% brightness. And this is what it looks like at 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is the video quality of the blink outdoor camera and this with its infrared night vision turned on and it's on the highest intensity and this is what it looks like at 10 feet 15 20 25 30 so this is the video quality of the blink outdoor connected to the floodlight and now the brightness set to a uh, hundred percent so seven headed lumens and this is what it looks like at 10 feet 15 20 25 30 all right so i'm just going to show you how the blink floodlight looks at night and right there so this is on its highest intensity and it is a white 5000 kelvin light and light output is 700 lumens and this is what it looks like in my backyard when it is fully lit up turn on blink outdoor 2 light turn on is not supported currently oh, okay but you can ask to show the camera Hmm. Try saying show Blink Outdoor 2. Hmm. I thought it's supported. So what do you think guys? And I'm going to say this again just like with the Blink doorbell. If you're already in the Blink ecosystem, this is a good buy. This will add a motion activated light and will help in the color recording at night of your Blink Outdoor camera compared to a regular black and white night vision. As long as you install this floodlight and the camera in an area that doesn't get a lot of traffic, then you should be getting at least a year's worth from the batteries of both the Blink Outdoor and the floodlight. What I'm bummed about though is that this floodlight is just for the new Blink Outdoor and the older XT and XT2s are not compatible. Now if you are new and just checking out the Blink camera or wanting a floodlight or spotlight camera, there are better options out there. There are pretty good spotlight Wi-Fi cameras that have way better video quality and better performance than Blink. And you can check my other videos for those. Well, that's it for this video. Any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.